So this is my daughter, Madeline, and she is the reason I started Popped Envy. Madeline was diagnosed with food allergies to wheat, eggs, and peanuts at eight months old. Um, thankfully, she's outgrown her egg allergy, but we're still working on wheat and peanuts. Um, but that's why all of our popcorn is wheat, egg, peanut, and tree nut free, because one in 13 children have food allergies now. And I really just saw a need for uh, a gourmet popcorn that um, more, it was more inclusive. Uh, a lot of people have celiac disease as well, so this, our popcorn is also safe for them. Um, and it's just very exciting to be able to offer something that's a more inclusive product, especially in a school fundraising program, because um, when, Leah, I need you to stand still. Hi, I'm here with Kathy Bernheimer from Pop Envy, and she's going to tell us her story. Hi, I'm Kathy, and I am Pop Envy Gourmet Popcorn Company in Sarver, PA. I opened about a year and a half ago. A friend of mine it manages a, the Pittsburgh division of a concession company had been telling me that his popcorn products are allergy safe for years and it's something I should look into. So after that event happened at the school, I decided to give him a call. I'm sorry, hold on. Leah, the floor is making noise. You can't walk around because we're hearing footprints, footsteps. Okay, well, you have to stay back though or come back out. But we can hear a little foot. I could see you. Like, <laughs> Sorry, I need a drink. This is so <laughs> I should have brought wine. <laughs> this is why when I go to the liquor store, I get a cart <laughs> and not just a basket. One of those people. <laughs> when, you, when you see me in there, you're like, ooh, she means business. <laughs> so Pop Envy, where did you get that name? Well, the bakery is called Frosted Envy. Okay. And when I initially started this, I wasn't 100% sure I was ready to close the bakery. Mm -hmm. So it seemed as it was a good branding, yeah. a good way to brand. Mm -hmm. Frosted Envy, Popped Envy. Um, and the reason I called the bakery Frosted Envy was because our cakes were so over the top mm -hmm. that a lot of times I would have customers contact me who, who were at an event with a cake, but they want something just a little bit better, a little bit bigger. And um, so I, I kind of like the play on words. Mm -hmm. um, so Pop Denvy, it was really about the branding, mm -hmm. but also our product is different than other popcorn companies because our popcorn is all wheat, egg, peanut, and tree nut free. So it's safe for people that are allergic, are allergic to all of those items, people that aren't able to eat gluten, mm -hmm. um, we're, we're safe for all of those things. And I started it because of my oldest daughter's allergies to wheat, eggs, and peanuts. One of the other things I feel that really sets us apart is our fundraising program. Um, not only do we offer a 50% profit margin, but we also offer free delivery for any um, group that wants to fundraise within two hours of where we are located. Wow. So, so how, do they do, how do people reach out to you about that? They can um, jump on our website okay. and there's a link to contact us or you can email me directly at Kathy, C-A-T-H-Y, at popenvy.com. Very cool. And we'll make sure all the information is down below. So with our fundraising, we ha of course have a traditional fundraising program where someone will have an order form and go out with, and their group will collect orders. But we also have what's called a live fundraiser and we've been working a lot with the Relay for Life this summer which has been very exciting mm -hmm. along with other groups where we will go in and we'll set up a display. They'll sell the popcorn for a day and then we'll come back at the end of the day and then we just collect uh -huh. what is left and they pay us for what they've sold. All of our um, popcorn is just $6 a bag. Leah or Maya. All of our popcorn is just $6 a bag, so it's an easy sale. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have, we actually just ran, mm, Maya, honey, you can't talk. Honey, you can't talk. Just get like 10 more minutes, babe. Hold on, let me just check out. <laughs> when I started our fundraising program, I really took a look at what other companies were doing and thought, how can I improve upon this? Because let's face it, 95% of people running fundraisers are working parents, and mm -hmm. the last thing they have time to do is run a fundraiser. Right. So what can I do? I can offer free delivery. Mm -hmm. I can let them choose what flavors they want to pick. So every, every sale, every fundraiser, every traditional fundraiser is really customized for their who they feel their demographic is. Right. Every bag is $6, so you're not calculating, well, this we sold this, this flavor, and this flavor, this is this price, this is this price. It's all $6. It's super affordable, too. Super affordable. Everyone's going to buy something for $6 mm -hmm. because it's just $6. Right. And then we deliver for free. Mm -hmm. And they get half of the profit? It's a 50% profit margin. So for every $6 bag that they sell, they keep 50%. They keep $3. Wow, that's awesome. 
So we have the traditional fundraiser, but we also have what's called a live fundraiser where we will go in and we'll set up a, a nice eight foot display. We'll set up all the popcorn. We have beautiful, a beautiful display and um, a four foot, we have a two foot by four foot sign that says this is a live fundraiser. We keep 50% of everything we sell. And then at the end of the night, we go in and we collect everything and they just owe us for what they've sold. We've been working a lot with the Relay for Life this summer, which has been a wonderful opportunity for us to work with the American Cancer Society because at the end of the day, I feel like in life we're all here to serve. Right. We're all here to be in service of others. And so if I can help the American Cancer Society or any other group raise money, yeah. I sleep a little better at night yeah. because I like that. Right. That's great. And then the third fundraiser we're doing, we actually ran our first one last month. It's an e-commerce online fundraiser. Now that's a 30% profit margin because we have to ship. Okay. But we worked with the Butler County Alliance for Children. Mm -hmm. um, a good friend of mine from college, Dana Hayes, is the executive director and the founder of the Butler County Alliance for Children. And it's a fantastic organization. And mm -hmm. they're making a really much needed difference for abused children in Butler County. Oh, that's really nice. So we worked with them last month, and um, so now we're opening up to any ideas. And I think it's the best thing about working with a small business. Mm -hmm. We're not set in our ways. We're open to anything. Mm -hmm. When Dana called me and said, hey, would you be interested in doing this? I said, yeah, let's talk about it. Right. We had it launched within 24 hours. That's awesome. So what are we gonna do today? Well, we're gonna make some popcorn. Okay. First, I'm gonna put on uh, my fancy hairnet and okay. pull my hair back, because that's always pretty. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to, um, we're gonna make some popcorn. Okay, so we're ready to make some popcorn. We all have our very fancy hair nets on, our hair pulled back. We have our rubber gloves on, everyone's washed their hands. And joining us today, I'm Kylie, Avery, Maddie, Leah, Maya. So we're gonna get started, we're gonna make some popcorn. So next thing we do is we take our base coating and this is what helps the flavor stick to the popcorn for our savory flavors. Most companies do not use as much as I use, but I hate chasing the flavor. I hate having to eat an entire bag of something just to feel like I'm getting the flavor. So we always go a little heavy on our flavorings, which makes them, I feel, taste a lot better. This tumbler has a heat element, which is nice because as the um, flavor coating is going in, it's not gonna chill and stick to the side as much as if it would not have the heating element. So we're back and this is what our live fundraiser table looks like or vendor show table. We will come in, we set everything up. Um, for our live fundraiser, our client would... So we are back and Michelle and I have set up a vendor table or live fundraiser table for you to see. We come in, we have all these cute little boxes and bins and our pretty tablecloth. We also have um, for our live fundraisers a large two foot by four foot sign to let customers know that it's a fundraiser and it's a 50% profit margin because that is uh, not always the case. So it's nice to know when you're fundraising that you're supporting, truly supporting mm -hmm. yeah, the groups absolutely. that's fundraising. Yeah. So Michelle, thanks so much for joining us today. We had a great time with the girls making some popcorn. Uh, be sure to check out our e-commerce site at popdenvy.com. We have more than 50 flavors that again are all wheat, egg, peanut, and tree nut free. Follow us on Facebook at Popped Envy Gourmet Popcorn and Instagram at Popped Envy.